what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're talking about several different topics in this video here today we'll be talking about scream 6 we'll be talking about chucky the tv series we'll be talking about the nun 2 and we'll close it out with friday the 13th now just to kick it off with scream 6 david arquette recently talked to comic book movie about his role in scream 5 as dewey riley that has led to his unfortunate absence in scream 6 he went over the fans reaction to do his role in scream 5 he said i know it was really sweet to see the reaction of the fans it was hard it was a project i really loved being a part of they went off to do a number six and i was like oh okay he said it's hard it's something that's really close to my heart but i love how they handled it he also commented on dewey's arc in five by saying i think my character had a really good role in screen five and had a lot to do that was really nice we'll see he laughed and said who knows anything is possible i mean how many movies have jason or mike myers been in not that dewey's a killer but there is a coming back to life element within these horror films he said comments like this honestly before in the past and i will say i'm all for a dewey riley cameo i hope dewey returns for scream 7 because when it comes to that movie if that indeed is going to be the conclusion to this saga as we now know have as it is now as opposed to what we got with the original conclusion in scream 3 similar to how they were all there for scream 3 i think they should all be here for scream 7 i don't care if they're alive or not dewey sydney gail some way somehow i think they all should be featured in if they're not they're just not but i think that it would be appropriate to have them all featured in the conclusion of this saga since they have been around since day one now i also think that just having him appear in scream 7 would be something that can be a nice emotional moment in the movie uh, you can utilize that by having one, if not both, of Sydney and Gail reminisce on Dewey. Or maybe we are reintroduced to a Riley character that we haven't seen since the first movie in Dewey's mother. There's so many different ways I feel like Dewey could appear in the conclusion, along with some other lovable members of the cast that have not died, but characters that have died uh, in Scream 7. But we'll see what happens. Just to jump into the topic of Chucky Season 2, Chucky Season 2 Episode 4 will star WWE Superstar Liv Morgan. This was announced last week and what a perfect day to have this video come out because Monday Night Raw is on tonight. It'll be, by the time this is uploaded, it'll probably just be on you'll probably be watching this during the commercial break if you're a WWE fan. Now, I had already seen the first four episodes and I was chuckling to myself about how Chucky made a lot more appearances related to WWE this time and now we all know about this cameo for Liv Morgan. I was certainly shocked when they announced it because I did not expect them to. How will say this i'm sure all of you would like to know her role and i won't spoil that but i will say i'm sure some of you will be able to figure this out you'll be able to piece this puzzle together before episode four comes out next week episode four as many of you know is a tiffany centric heavy episode so you might have a question well how does live fit fit into that if you can figure out where Liv morgan fits into that then congratulations but chances are her role will either become more confusing based off the teaser that's released for episode four or it'll become more clear i will say that her appearance is something that's very in line with what we've been seeing from the franchise for a good while and it's not something that is a hindrance to anything we've been seeing from the series so far but it is also something that is again in line with what you've been seeing from the series for a very long time not a very long time but you've been seeing it for a while going as far back as seed of chucky you've been seeing elements such as this the way they use her that's all i'll say uh you'll be able to figure it out if you're a smart sleuther you'll figure it out i'm not going to spoil it but i do like how they utilized her in this episode and i think some of you will like it this is going to be an episode where again you are mostly just dealing with tiffany and her loved ones you'll get to catch up with glenn glinda uh learn more about tiffany get some context on what things have been like for glenn and glinda after seed of chucky so that's going to be a very eventful episode for seed of chucky fans mostly just to jump into the nun 2 the Nun 2 has started filming according to this behind the scenes image James Wan shared to announce that filming has started in France. We know this movie is starring Storm Reid, Tysa Farmiga and Bonnie Aarons will star uh, Aarons and Farmiga are the only were two are the only two returning cast members that have been announced and highlighted in some capacity by major outlets however there is also this third person that has now been confirmed courtesy of Juan's post the character of Frenchie will return in this story because Juan also tagged actor Jonas Blockett in the post 
This film we know is set in 1956 and we will see Sister Irene try to stop Valak once again. Now, what's interesting about this is earlier this year, a casting call revealed that this film is going to also potentially be set at a school named St. Mary's. And there's a there's a person who works there that becomes friends with a character named Sophie. The character was named Frenchie. Now, I overlooked this because I was like, maybe that's another Frenchie and it's just like an Easter egg or a code name for the person's actual real name. But I guess this could indeed be the actual legitimate Richie from the first movie. Richie apparently will be working there and he gets close to a bullet girl who again is named Sophie. I'm assuming Sophie will be played by Storm Reed. Now that Jonas is back again, this to me means that that casting call was referring to the actual character of Frenchie from the first movie that we know is possessed by Valak. I cannot wait to see how this plays out because to me now what this insinuates is maybe the narrative is going in this direction where they found out about Frenchie being possessed by Valak and have been searching for him. They track him down to this school where he somehow managed to become an employee there. Uh, Valak, of course, is the one in control. She gets close to some some girls at school, tries to have them. Uh, unlock all these other demonic things probably and sister Irene will show up and she will save the day when Valak gets out of whack uh, or tries to get things out of whack at the school with Storm Reed's character and her friends but we'll see how this all comes together as production continues in France and we'll learn more as production closes and of course as we near the release date in september of next year i believe i think it's coming out in september not october of next year just to conclude this video by talking about friday the 13th friday the 13th is still waiting on that revival that i will say i wholeheartedly believe is going to come in 2023 if it doesn't it just doesn't but after these breadcrumbs that have been spilt this year you know you have roy lee teasing something could happen regarding this ip by the end of the year something could be announced recently though we had david bruckner who has previously or who had previously been set to revive jason in the mid 2010s he's made it known that he thinks it'd be difficult to find his way back to that ip now when speaking with comic book resources about the topic while he was promoting his new hellraiser movie he reflected on his time with the series that never made it to the big screen unfortunately by saying that those ideas are not interesting to me quite the same way they were with the work we did in particular but i'm a fan of the franchise he also seems to be confident that more will come he said there will be others there will be other friday the 13th films they will figure it out the ip is too valuable the fans want it too much and i do hope he's right and i wish we could have seen his version of jason but things always happen for a reason his version basically would have been like a three arc story where i think we were going to see each version of an Voorhees as a killer elias we would finally met elias jason's father pamela and then it would have all concluded with jason in his role as a killer so we could have seen some type of killer legacy film play out there um would you guys have wanted to see a friday 13 movie from david brugler let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video